Robert Bruce. Robert Bruce was a warrior and a king of Scotland. He was born on 11 July 1274 in Turnberry Castle, Ayrshire. His father's name was Robert de Bruce and mother's name was Marjorie, Countess of Carrick. Robert was born into an aristocratic Scottish family. His father was the sixth Lord of Annandale. Robert the Bruce would most probably have become trilingual at an early age. In early 1296, Robert married his first wife, Isabella of Mar. Bruce also married his second wife, Elizabeth de Berg. By Elizabeth he had four children, David II, John, Matilda, and Margaret. England was at war with Scotland. The King of England wanted to capture Scotland and make it a part of England. Robert the Bruce had a small army of Scottish soldiers. They fought six battles with England but lost each time. The English army was much bigger with more resources with them and stronger than Scottish soldiers. When King Bruce and his army lost the sixth battle they were driven out of their own country, the entire army of Scotland got scattered. The king became a refugee in his own country. He had to hide in the forests and caves. Because if the English army caught him, he would be imprisoned. One day, when he was lying down on the rocky bed of a cave hungry and tired, he noticed a spider getting ready to spin a web. He watched her fascinated as she worked slowly and with great care. She tried but failed. But she did not lose hope and tried again. Six times she tried and six times she failed. King Bruce was amazed. This tiny creature kept on trying again and again. Robert found it a lot of similarity between the spider and him. He also tried to fight the English army six times and feel just like the spider. Robert the Bruce carefully watched the spider try for the seventh time. He forgot about his own trouble and followed the spider. The spider held her thread and managed to reach the other end of the cave and succeed in the seventh attempt. King Bruce was filled with new hope and courage and thought to himself let me try one more time, I just might win. Robert the Bruce gathered his scattered army together and told the story of the spider to gave them new hope with inspiration. He again built an army of brave Scotsmen. A servant battle was fought and they managed to defeat the English army in June 1314. The King of England was forced to go back to his own country. England finally recognized Scotland as an independent country. Robert the Bruce became crowned King of Scots on 25 March 1306. Robert died on 7 June 1329 at the manor of Cardris near Dumberton at the age of 54. No man holds his flesh and blood in hatred and I am no exception. I must join my own people and the nation in whom I was born," said Robert Bruce.